G'day guys, Scotty Lyons here from The Hook and the Cook and welcome back to our channel. The Hook and the Cook started as a TV program and we filmed 13 episodes for the major networks. It aired in Australia, New Zealand and the US. We've taken the 13 episodes and divided them into four equal parts for your enjoyment. Sit back now and enjoy beach fishing, Fraser Island. After a great night's fishing, we are tired but the adrenaline is still pumping. We have already caught what we need so now we can relax and just have some fun. Big Friday, first light. I got up out to flight, now I'm running down your stairs. One, two, three, hit the floor. Make my break for your back door, and I'm getting out of here. Your door. Oh, oh, oh. I think we'll head down there and fish with those other guys. It looks like the spot. Let's give it a go. The wreck of the Mahina is definitely a popular destination, and by the looks of it, it's not just for sightseeing. Before we get started, I bury the contents of my wormy bag in the sand. As the waves wash over the top, it will slowly disperse into the gutter where we're going to fish. Now I need to set up the beach rig. First I need a number five ball sinker. Now what I do, a little trick an old mate of mine taught me, Kenny Appel from Caring Bar. Thanks Ken. You uh, put a wire through the sinker and give it a whack with a hammer, it puts flats on the sinker just prevents it from rolling around the beach. It's a great trick. Uh, down to a swivel, very short trace he taught me years ago. It just stops the actual bait from coat hangering up the main line. All right, so keep it nice and short. And then we're using gang hooks. Three five O's. And the best bait on, on Fraser is pillies, because we're after Taylor. So the way you put a pilchard on, you lay your gangs along the side of the pilly, line the top hook up with its eye, and then just push in with the back hook to mark the, the bait, and then turn your pilchard round, and you can see the mark there. Drop the first hook in, then come up, turn square, drop your second hook in, just under the backbone. Third one should line up perfectly with his eye, and then we have it. Okay, the gear we're using today is a uh, 6,000 bait runner, the new AC models. Bait runners off the beaches are nice and tough, they're really good. And there's a fish. Oh. Taylor are definitely on the go today. Now, legal size on Fraser Island or in Queensland is 35 centimetres, so he'd probably just go 35. We'll put this fella back. This is not a bad fish, this one. It's a good tail of this one. Right, the gear I'm using today is a Shimano 6000 OC bait runner, spooled up with Power Pro Braid, 10 kilo. I'm using Snyder fluorocarbon for a litre, down to my gangs with a whole pilly. The rod I'm using is a Aero Wave composite. Four to eight kilo, fantastic for the surf. Whether it be Taylor or Brim or Dart off the beach, or even that Dewey that I got the other night. Great fun. Got another one in the bugger. At the moment, I'm five up on four. Or none of the How good's that? <laughs> Scotty's killing me over there. I've swapped over to a pilly now. A little bit of fresh bait on there, but they seem to be going for the pilchards. Tell you what, every bait we're thrown into this gutter behind us at the Mohino wreck. Within five seconds, you're getting a whack. Taylor, brim, dart. It's just amazing fishing. And if we're not getting them, there's someone down there catching them as well. So there's plenty of fish here and a lot of fun. Paul finally changes his tactics. It doesn't take long and he catches his first fish. Only a small one. There you go. Little Taylor. All 
I reckon it's time to head off. I'm about five up on the cook over there. I think he's only got one, so that's pretty funny. And he's got a bit of cooking to do today, so he might have his last throw and then take off. After another great catch, it's time to hit the road. All this action has made me very hungry and I can't wait to see what Paul does with that giant tailor. We head back to the campsite and get everything ready for lunch. After the break, Paul puts that Coleman cooker to work. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed beach fishing Fraser Island. Now tune in next week for another fantastic clip on the Hook and the Cook. And please subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. And we'll see you guys every week here at the Hook and the Cook. Cheers.